Well, mindsets are an interesting concept. How we think and how we guard our hearts by how we think, the thoughts we put into our mind and how they contribute to our life, how they direct our life. It's a, a fascinating topic. And I have been intrigued by this for quite a long time. And about 10 years ago, I ran into a lady named Caroline Leaf, L-E-A-F, you can look her up. And she, well, turns out, she was intrigued by the same verse of scripture that I was in her younger years. I'm a Christian, she's a Christian. I never heard of her, she never heard of me. She was raised in South Africa. I was raised here in the state of Indiana. And, um, but we both were intrigued by a verse of scripture Romans 12, 2, which says, Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you can prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In other words, how we renew our mind, what thoughts we put in our mind, can actually open up an avenue to prove God's perfect will. And His will, if you read the Bible, His promises are always good. They're for love and great things that we would want. And we sometimes think, well, he doesn't work because we're not getting what those promises say. But it has to do with our thinking, our mindset. And so I've been fascinated by this. And I'm going to be presenting some things each week on how I've learned to control my thinking and how it's redirected my life. And I'll give you one example. A number of years back, I decided that I was going to declare over myself that I can love as good as God loves. Now, I know that's a bit preposterous. I knew it at the time, but I thought, I'll just declare that over myself. And it was sort of amazing to me because within a couple months, people started making comments. I mean, I was literally hearing comments like, Mary, I have seen more tenderness in you lately, and things like that. And I realized it was working, and what I was doing with these declarations over myself, were making an amazing change in my own personality. And people today would never guess the, what some of the people used to say about me. They just wouldn't even think it anymore. My life has truly been changed and redirected because I changed my thinking. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you find encouragement in it. I'm going to be calling myself frustration not. So you'll be able to look that up and find me.